Hello my lovely readers, welcome back to Readers Retreat for another video. My name is Victoria and today it's going to be my May TBR. So basically this is going to be a really quick video because I've only got a very limited amount of time to film this today. So I'm sorry if it's rushed but I can't help it. Uh, so my TBR for May is just going to be to finish what I have started to read um, and a lot of them are books from the recent haul that you've seen um, so first up will be Nevermore by Jessica Townsend as I said in my haul I have started reading this one I'm very short way into it so I've still got a lot to go um, but I'm really really enjoying it so far just getting to know Morrigan and I'm really excited to see where the story goes. Also Ex Libris, the non-fiction about the 100 books to read and reread. Um, as this is non-fiction it will probably be quite easy to get through, quite quick to read. Um, I have also got the audiobook so that's going to help massively um, and yeah I'm very excited to try and discover something new to maybe read later on in the year. The chunker that is Barack Obama A Promised Land. Again, I'm only a tiny, tiny way into this. I'm not anticipating finishing this this month um, because I don't want to rush it. As I said in the book haul, it's quite intense reading. So I really don't want to rush through this. Um, and read it for the sake of reading it again i've got the audiobook so it is going to help but it is a chunker so i'm not going to pressure myself into finishing it this month but i'm hoping to get a, at least a decent way into it i did purchase the amanda lovelace box set um women are some kind of magic um i picked these up on the recommendation of steph at steph loves and I am absolutely loving them. Um, I've started The Princess Saves Herself in this one and I've got about 20 pages of that left, I think. But I do want to finish this trilogy. There's The Witch Doesn't Burn in this one and The Mermaid's Voice Returns in this one. So I am very, very excited to continue with these. They are very, very intense um, in that the subject matter talks about some very difficult stuff. But, um, and there are trigger warnings in the beginning of these. So please, 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 if you're planning to pick these up, please do read through those um, so that you're at least aware of them uh, before you start. Trigger warning, this, can, this book contains sensitive material relating to child abuse, intimate partner abuse, sexual assault, eating disorders, trauma, death, murder, violence, fire, menstruation, transphobia and more. Remember to practice self-care before, during and after reading. So there is quite an extensive list in the front of these books so please 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 be aware of that before you pick them up. But I do highly recommend them if you are able to read them. If I do pick up anything new this month I would really really love it to be A Pinch of Magic by Michelle Harrison. This particular one was very, very kindly gifted to me by Rachel over on Discord. And I am very, very grateful to have this because it's a beautiful, beautiful book. I absolutely adore this cover and I cannot wait to dive into these. The audio book is on script. So again, it shouldn't take me too long to get through it if I do get a chance to, but I'm not gonna pressure myself into it because I do have quite a lot here to get get through if I can so I'm very very excited to pick this one up and I hope I can get to it in May but if not it's ready and waiting for June so thank you very very much again Rachel for gifting this to me as a uh, congratulations for starting my booktube channel I really really do appreciate it and she has requested that I do a reading book for this so hopefully I'll get to do that for you Hey guys, Editing Victoria here. I did re just realise that I hadn't given you 
a bit of a synopsis of what Pinch of Magic is in case you've not read it. So Pinch of Magic follows Betty, Charlie and Fliss as they try to um, undo a curse that's haunted their family for generations. Um, that's all I know and all really I want to know going into it because like you've heard me say before I don't like knowing too much about new books so hopefully that's enough for you and enjoy the rest of the video. That is everything that I plan to read and hope to read for May. Thank you very very much for joining me and spending some time with me. I know it's been a really quick video and I'm sorry if it seems rushed but time is time. <laughs> so hopefully fingers crossed some of these will actually have been read uh, by the end of the month and yeah i'm very very excited to continue with all of them so i will leave links to all of my socials down below and also a link to steph's channel steph loves please do go, go and check her out because she is absolutely amazing and i love her to bits so please go and check her out i would be ever so grateful if you could like this video let me know down below if you've read any of these and you think I should prioritise any over the others. I would really, really love it if you could subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I really do appreciate it. Thank you again for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye.